So we've got a little bit of a tip coming up. We're going to have a look in some cracking vans that have just come up and we've figured something out. So let's go and find out what we figured out and then have a look at what's just come in. Now, some of you might remember the, the little Roma home that we had in previously. Uh, it took us ages trying to figure out the beds um, and we finally figured it out. So dead dead easy i think we made it look really really difficult last time but it's actually dead dead easy so the seat goes forwards this seat then goes backwards there's a little bar then down here that pulls out and the whole seat moves forward that's what that's what we were missing so then the passenger seat then pulls out to that the headrest then comes off and then that one just goes back. Normally this oh. unit is completely back. It's dead easy. Oh, and fun. and then we found the uh, the little metal bars. Oh, to make it into a double. We found the little metal bars. So oh. they then they were hidden in a little floppy thing. They were hidden. So the metal bars then literally go from chairs side to side right. they're just slipping like that and then the cushions just go in the in the middle so easy oh my gosh. so easy so uh, you know how. it is so glad that we finally got there with the uh with the roma home i'm going to leave that like that for a minute because i might I'll put it back i'll put it back i'm only going to get moaned at if i don't so uh, again dead easy but yeah that's that's what we'd be missing um, so if you've got a little roma home or thinking about a little roma home look out for that little catch uh, it makes it so much easier and it then actually is a doddle to make the beds up and um what have you so that was a cracking little cracking little motorhome that was and that's just going out in a couple of weeks time we have got the 727 over here the chausson 727 now the other day we were coming back um back up the m40 and we saw a caravan it was behind the car and it was doing this it was it was all over the place so a lot of people i think are going to be going away for the final time possibly um, for the kids holidays coming up so just a really 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 good time just to make sure that you're loading the caravan correctly that you've got your weight proportioned through the caravan you don't obviously want to put too much weight at the back but you want to make sure that your nose weight is correct so if you find that your nose weight is a little bit too heavy and realistically by the time you've put it onto the back of the car as long as it's not sort of like this so the caravan's right down the back of the car's right down as long as we're nice and level um you've not got to go crazy about the the nose weight if if obviously it's doing like this we've got an issue and you want to start moving the heavy stuff then more towards the axle on the caravan don't put stuff at the back of the caravan because that is what is going to make the caravan sway a little bit more and if you do get a sway don't try and accelerate out of it and think yeah i can power out of this just actually let go take the um take your foot off the accelerator and sort of let it come naturally back and you'll find that sort of by doing that it will naturally just slow down and it will stop so that's um, what I, they did on the motorway didn't they i noticed they didn't brake and they didn't speed up they just slowed down just slowed yeah down yeah stopped. don't don't no start hitting the brakes and things like that just literally let it slow down naturally so it was um, going so no one yes it, it going, certainly it? was yeah it well certainly was doing, uh, luckily uh well unluckily for us i didn't video it uh, and luckily for them nothing happened so um it's just it's just being aware that if something like that does happen um don't try and accelerate out of it just literally take your foot off the off the accelerator so this is now over at gailey uh, another couple nice ones that have just come in so we've got a swift charisma 565 this is a 2011 i think it is yeah 2011 so again the tenth digit on our chris number will tell you what the year of the caravan is so cracking cracking family van again um i think that this might just sell just after this october half term we've just had the nec which seemed like a good good nec um what price is this did it say or have you said i think let me just check $10,000 
10495 and it's got range, it? it's got that proper yeah. separate shower and toilet and then it's got the two bunks and not the three bunks so you've got a nice amount of space and then there's a bunk bed that comes up on the side there as well so a nice nice uh, layout that is we've got a uh, we're starting <laughs> with we started off when we moved on to the Gailey site, we were quite sort of far forwards and trying to fill up. Now we're sort of moving further and further and further backwards. We've got another one here that's got to come into line. That It looks like I've just dumped it, doesn't it? But uh, literally just, well, yeah, I have. It literally just came in yesterday. So this is the Swift Conqueror 482 berth. Very nice fan, this one. Yeah, it's got the mover on it. Um, you wait until you see the nice big fridge freezer in this as well. That's unusual for a two-bed. Uh, these are a heavy van, uh, and I've got the wrong key. Got the wrong key. Got the wrong key. Can you believe it? So I'll get the key, and we'll have a look in this. I've got the keys. So have a look in there. I've got all the curtain, all everything. Oh God! Down this is there. Smart, yeah, it? nice, nice van. Really been well looked after. So a little two berth, so we'll have a proper, proper look at this on Sunday's video, I think. So just a quick sneak. We've got an absolute stunning big twin axle that's just coming as well. Um, we tend to find that the, the twin axles are sort of seasonal sometimes. Um, so we've got a couple more bigger twin axles that are in at the minute because a lot of people where they put them onto a site and leave them onto a site, it's normally now that they'll start to look and go, oh, actually, we want something new for next year, we want to change the layout. So we've got a lovely, lovely one that we're going to be showing you on Sunday. Still, we're going to have a look in a few more. We're over for our Friday and our Sunday video. We're at boat, well, we're not going to be at Garden Village at all this week. We're just at, at Gailey. So we'll probably have a look in the big motor home again. We'll look in the, uh, the Challenger X. I've given it away now, haven't I? And then that's a lovely little one again. That's a cracking, cracking little first time event. So, um, if you went to the NEC, let us know what your thoughts. Um, did you buy from the NEC? It's normally a good time to sort of buy. If you're thinking about going to the NEC next year and you've not got a caravan and you're thinking about possibly buying something, remember to book your towing course, or it's not a towing course, but your towing um, experience. It's completely free. It gets booked up really, really early. So um, it's definitely worth doing, as I say, they will give you a few little tips about when you're sort of loading the caravan and just things that are going to help you and it's not going to sort of cause you problems. Some people, well, a lot of people will measure the, the nose weight of the caravan. I've always really just done it as long as the caravan is looking nice and level um, and we're not sort of right down like this, then we shouldn't really have an issue. And it's, as I say, if it is sort of that we're doing this, don't try and think, oh, I'll put a load of heavy stuff at the back uh, and that'll sort of counter, counteract it. Try and move stuff just more towards the axle so it's not quite as far forwards because the more stuff, we've got a little, um, th there'll be a little thing popping up now actually with a, a caravan swaying with where you move the weights and that'll sort of show you what happens when you put the weight at the back of the caravan and what a bit of a disaster it can end up being by putting weight more towards the caravan back end. Another thing with if you've got the island bed at the back, again, try not to put big heavy stuff underneath of there for travelling and whatever. You try and make sure that you've you've any big heavy stuff you've put over the axle for travelling. Yeah, put it underneath there when you get onto site. But it's just something that you need to be aware of. Uh, something that I sort of thought. Well, actually, we'll try and put this video out a little bit earlier because if it's newer people that are going out towing for the first time, because again, we've had a lot of people buy for the first time, so. Um, it's just something that you need to be aware of. So hopefully our tip is going to save somebody out there and hopefully not cause them any grief. We're looking at possibly setting up a, a new channel just literally for all of the, the sales vans and motorhomes and what have you. Um, so I might put a little link up 
on this video if we've done it already we might put a few little videos up on there so if we have done it go over there hit the link subscribe to that one if you're interested in seeing all the different caravans and it'll be all individual sort of reviews and little tips over there as well so um, that's pretty much it for this week's video we'll see you on sunday thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place